Did you know that aircraft safety test was performed by chicken guns? Planes are required to go through too many tests before they are allowed to fly. One of the most important aspects that needs to be tested is bird strike. For fulfilling this requirement bird or chicken gun is used and it fires a dead chicken to the plane to perform this specific test. Bird strike has a huge effect on the aircraft and especially can cause more damage if the bird is sucked into the engines. The Central Science Laboratory estimates the cost of the bird strike as 930 million euros per year. The worst bird strike till today was in October 1960 on Eastern Airlines Flight 375 flight from Boston. The plane was flying trough flock of starlings which damaged all four engines and caused it to crash into Boston Harbor. Total 62 people were killed on this flight. Ethiopian Airlines Flight 604 also crashed after pigeons were sucked into both of its engines. Total 35 passengers died on board that flight. Also famous US Airways Flight 1549 in 2009 was flying into a flock of geese. And then it landed to the Hudson River due to failure of the engines. It is a proof for aviation that bird strike is such an important issue that needs to be tested for aircraft certification. So what is the chicken gun? The chicken gun was first used in the mid-1950s at De Havilland Aircraft, Hatfield, Hertfordshire. The chickens were killed at a local farm shortly before use. Another early use of a chicken gun was by the Royal Aeronautical Establishment in Farnborough, Hampshire in 1961. A chicken gun is a large diameter, compressed air cannon used to fire dead chickens at aircraft components in order to simulate high-speed bird strikes during the aircraft's flight. Jet engines and aircraft windshields are particularly vulnerable to damage from such strikes and are the most common target in such tests. Whole, dead, standard-sized chickens, as would be used for cooking, are thought to accurately simulate a large, live bird striking a plane in flight. The aircraft component to be tested, engine, windshield, etc., is fixed in place on a test stand, and the cannon fires the chicken at it. The United States Air Force commissioned the A.E. D. C. Ballistic Range S3 to test airplane canopies, which began operating in 1972. The gun was later used to test other aircraft parts such as the leading edges of wing. During the development of the Boeing 757 in the 1970s, the cockpit windows were subjected to a chicken test, where an anesthetized 4-pound, 1.8 kilograms, chicken was loaded in a pneumatic gun and fired at 360 knots. 670 km per hour, head on. It is described as a very messy test. What do you think about this test? Please write your ideas in the comments section. If you liked this video, please do not forget to subscribe, like, share and click on the bell to get all the updates. Thank you for watching us and for your support.